So no stamping ground of yours then, Roy, the Cambridge Folk Festival? Yeah, I love the town as well. Yeah, beautiful. The town's a, a really great place, and I've got friends who live here. So it's always a pleasure to come back, but, but you know, I haven't been to the festival for 26 years. I mean, you were here in the very, very early years, weren't you? Yeah, I you think... started playing here. Were you at the first one? I think I was at the first one. A bit hazy? A bit hazy. <laughs> I was definitely the second one, and I played at the third one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I played it in 84, so it's 26 years since I played. The folk festival has carried on. You, you've carried on, mercifully. And uh, you've just been out with Joanna Newsom, not as support, but as very special guest. <laughs> quite right. Quite yeah. But I mean, so, you know, the, the, the audience for the festival renews. I mean, you're getting new people into your stuff through playing with people like Joanna, I guess. I am, and it's a, it, that's a real boon. It's just brilliant to be back here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lovely festival. I was listening to you doing an interview on the site over this weekend, and you were talking about your friendship with the guys in Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. Um, and you were talking about you were, in a way, the kind of fifth or sixth member of both those bands. But people, really, their affinity is to the band, not the members, is what you were saying. Yeah. And, 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 and so I wonder whether, how had that fed into you being, you know, essentially a solo performer for all these years? And uh, did you never want to be in a band? Did you always want to be the most important member of your own one-man band? Well, the problem is that I, I, I grew up as a one-man band. I've, I've always been a solo entity. I think my experiments with a band have, have failed because I, I didn't grow up with it. I didn't have the ethic and I've not got the, the perhaps the patience that's needed to be a band member and neither by the way do a lot of band members, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you're just restricted to battles with yourself? Yes, I'm, I battle with myself, <laughs> yeah, and it's, right, right. Uh, you know, successful or not, as the case may be. Well, they're, they're largely successful, I think. And so uh, but let's go back to the main stage and see uh, more of uh, this eminent one-man band in action. Roy Harper live on the main stage at Cambridge Folk Festival. I think there's something that has become special about the Cambridge Folk Festival. That's, I think it's in the hindsight and the gathering site of what's going on countrywide, if not socially across the Northern Hemisphere. Coming out and, and playing to people again is a, a, a strange thing in that half of me doesn't want to do it at all. The other half of me only barely recognizes that the performance angle is still there, that I probably need to go out and perform. And it's only when I get on a stage that I realize that actually I, I enjoy it. I mean, I remember this festival when it was almost exclusively folk music. The man who founded this festival was a great person with uh, magnificent ideals. What he created originally is now a really nice beast. As older people drop, drop off on the one end, younger people come in at the other. I really enjoy the, the young people coming in and, and, and enjoying it, and they can influence me too with what they're doing, and, and often do. I think it's a more eclectic mix than it used to be.